Okay, I'm going to be showing you um, a tutorial on how to make a softball bow. Okay, the things you're going to need are an X-Acto knife, the little twist ties that you get on uh, bread, a clip, and some embellishments that I got from Walmart. They're buttons, so you can sew them on or just glue them on. Here's the bow that I've already made, but I'm gonna be showing you how. And I uh, did a, uh, a pinwheel bow on the back that you could probably find a tutorial from somebody else. Um, I pre-made mine so that the tutorial wouldn't be so long. So that's it right there. Okay. You're going to take your softball. I'm going to cut it so that the brand name and the numbers aren't showing. Just the official softball league thing. Okay. So you're going to take your knife. And you're going to do it a couple, a little bit above the laces so you don't cut the laces. You're going to start right there. You're going to cut all the way around, not cutting the laces. You're going to keep going all the way around. Be very careful because it's really sharp. And then cut it all the way around until you get to the place that you started at. When you get back to the start, you're just going to peel the part that you cut off the ball. You can throw this away or recycle it or whatever. It's not going to be used unless you want to use it for a different bow, but I don't think it would look very nice. Okay, now once that's gone, you're going to peel this off of the ball. Um, I found a four pack of softballs from Walmart um, for $10, so that's a good buy unless you find them cheaper. Okay, we're going to toss the ball aside. Okay, now that we have this out, we're going to grab one of our zip ties. Okay, and with most bows, we do the accordion. I'm going to do that with the softball like that. I'm going to hold it and take your zip tie. You're going to put it through there. So you can see right here, you're going to tie it real tight, as tight as you can get. You're going to twist it a couple times, as tight as you can get it. Okay, and then I've been, after you tighten it a couple of times, I've been tucking it inside of the softball. Hide. Okay. And then after that, it depends on how fluffy or how flat you want your bow. Um, you can make it real flat looking like that and make it look like a bow, or you can make it a little bit fluffy looking like that. I'm going to make mine a little fluffy looking like that. So you're going to flip it over. You need a hot glue gun. You're just going to put a little bit in the inside.
put it there and let it dry. You're gonna do the same. Okay, now after it dries, you can take the pre made bow that you do and just glue it on and add some embellishments. The picture that I saw on the Facebook page was a bling in the middle. You can choose whichever one you want. The bling, I on this one used a glove, just seems more fitting for the softball. And I've got all these buttons from Walmart too for about two bucks. So you can put that on there or that on there. With my bows, I sew, I sew most of them and then glue them. With the softball bow, I prefer that because, you know, your little girl or boy is going to be playing softball in them. And so it just makes it more sturdy and not fall apart. Okay. And then after you glue it on, add your embellishment. And you should be done. Thank you for watching my tutorial.